Welcome back. This is Hampton, and this is once again Far Cry on Realistic. Uh, so when I last left off, I was still out in this giant open map. There is so much fucking background noise going on right now. Um, a little caveat, I ended the last episode with literally no pixels of health and at a save point. But when you die and reload, I guess it sets your health to a set amount, um, because this isn't me cheating or anything, it's just I reloaded the game and I had like 50% health or something and a little chunk of armor. Well, actually, I think there was an armor pack at the uh, checkpoint there. But yeah, that was kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted to actually do it with no health, but meh. Val should be somewhere in this complex. Yeah, but there's not much left of this place. Then you don't have a lot to search, do you? That complex is where they stored a bunch of old test subjects. If one of those things finds Val before you do, she's dead. Right, I'm moving. They cut that off a little abruptly, but whatever. So this episode, uh, it's a little longer than usual. It's also got a shitload of content in it. Uh, it is just jam-packed. I didn't realize how much I'd, or how long it'd been recording, uh, so I just had a ton of footage, and I decided to just keep it all in. Well, edit the fuck out of it, but I kept the majority of uh, everything that happened. There was a lot of deaths this time, though. And so here we go. Here is the first um, real use for the Cryvision goggles. Yep, invisible enemies. I think I just found your test subjects. These guys are invisible, much like the Predator. Uh, but you turn on Cryvision and you see their heat signature. So Cryvision gets a lot of use from pretty much here on out. Uh, it is handy, uh, as was talked about in the thread a bit. It is very useful for finding enemies and bushes and outdoor areas and stuff like that. I just never bother with it. Uh, but here it becomes kind of necessary, just because they introduce these invisible enemies. I love I love these guys here, just hiding <laughs> behind soda machines. So silly. <laughs> ah, I just like seeing part of them peek out from behind there. <clears throat> so, continuing with our delicious Cripsy, we have Cripsy Light again with reduced mutagen. Yummy. I would like one, please. Got my own problems right now. Yeah, well, she just hit the fan. Damn, that scientist. He is in the wrong line of work. Cause he just killed me in one shot. He's not a mercenary. He's just a lowly scientist. There's some strange stuff down there, and I don't know a damn thing about most of it. You don't say, Doyle. You don't say. So I decide to give up the uh, sniper rifle and get back my lovely P90. I haven't used this for quite a while. So down here we have several invisible guys. It's not that hard to clear out this room. I died a couple times, but mostly just due to carelessness. God, and you'll, you'll see later on in some of the sped up sections, these new trigen make amazing noises in fast forward, or in uh, at four times speed. So here's what they look like. They look pretty menacing, actually. Remind me a lot of a Quake enemy, like Quake 4 or um, Doom 3 or something. This game entirely reminds me of both Quake 4 and Doom 3. Uh, I think Doom 3 came out a little later, though. But anyways, after a little stumbling around, I remembered you have to go underneath the, uh, the board of wood. 
and swim through some little vents. Sure didn't see that coming. So, fuck doing this this little area that way again. I figured a much more clever solution. <laughs> Skipping that shit for now. So the P90, as I mentioned in the thread, I love it a lot more than the shotgun. I really do. The shotgun is good, but I just find this so much more accurate. And this fucking light. So seizure-inducing strobe light effect in here. I'm trying to look at textures, and it's just bothering me so much. Hoping I can shoot the bulb out, but nope. It is invulnerable. dispatched several teams of elite troops to that area. They're there to kill Trigens, but they'll be happy to add you to the body count. Yeah, I know. What? No... No quip? No witty one-liner, Jack? We're slipping. There's little little areas like this, this little bottleneck, is where I find that the P90 really outshines the shotgun. Again, it's probably just my personal preference. I love the P90. One drawback, of course, is that it eats ammo like fucking crazy. This is Mantis Team. No sign of Carver. I'm initiating a sweep of areas 3 through 7. All right. Mantis Team, report back as soon as the area is clear. Roger that. Mantis out. And we meet a new mercenary type. Moving out. Team 2, make sure this area remains secure. You want some of this? I'm not actually sure what to call these guys. Um, they're just... Gas mask wielding assholes. They're very tough though, they have really good armor. And here, my plan is to grenade them. But fucker ran right in front of me at the exact moment I was gonna launch my grenade at the uh, the guy in the back. And it didn't even kill him. Great. Yeah, their armor is really good. And they are very accurate. We'll get a better look at them in a bit. This upcoming section, it's not exactly hard, but it is what was that? very tedious. It's a very big, very open room. A lot of a lot of boxes. You'll see in a minute. I cut out quite a big chunk of it because it just took me it took me like fifteen minutes to clear this one room out to where I was confident that I wouldn't just get shot in the head by some sneaky hidden guy. As I said, it's not it's not hard to clear it out, it's just very time consuming, and there's no checkpoints in this room. One of the kind of frustrating things about it too is you have to kill a certain enemy. Uh, I'm never really sure which one it is. There's one enemy in this in this big warehouse room that has a key card. And if you kill all of them. You just gotta go around and loot the bodies until you find the one with a keycard to progress. There's just a ton of guys in here. I didn't bother counting, but there's gotta be at least eight or nine. So now we're on the other side of the room. Still a couple guys left in here. 
And luckily, I got the key card from the one that I was just on. So we can leave that room forever. And here is the next checkpoint, so if you died any time before that, do that room again. So these invisible guys, these invisible trigen, I don't find they're too much of a threat. Um, I mean, their invisibility is very good. It's not, it's not like you can see a kind of ripple effect. I mean, you can, you can barely, very, very, barely make out uh, just the kind of ripple air effect when they're in front of you and they're invisible. But you really do need to use the cry vision to actually see them. So the P90 can uh, say its sweet goodbyes, it's served its purpose for now, and I need the sniper rifle for the next section, because it's kind of a bitch. It took quite a few tries for me to, uh, to, get, past, you know, to get past this section. <clears throat> Again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's hard, it's just, you gotta memorize where everything is. Unrealistic, that's what this game is really all about, it's just memorization. You get shot, okay, well where did that come from? Okay, we'll kill that guy first. Nope, you get shot from somewhere else. You just, you just gotta figure out the pattern of shooting guys and such. Where they're gonna be, who you gotta kill first. So it's a very big open area. There's quite a few snipers, a few rocket guys, and that drop ship. I don't even know where that came from. The music's pretty good, sped up. <laughs> Beautiful. So that guy up there on top of that silo is quite dangerous. I believe he has a rocket launcher. So I really learned the value of the flashbang grenades in this episode. I used them in my previous playthroughs, but not to this extent. I just, I really, I really like them now. I see they're very valuable, very handy. The forklift. This is last time I, I think I'll ever use a forklift, and I forgot that I needed some health, so I take a little detour, and I never get back on that forklift. Alas, poor forklift. I knew him, Horatio. So I think I have this whole area cleared out, and then, fucking surprise, out of nowhere, come these two dickbags that almost ruined my face. Would have been very frustrating. As it was, it was pretty frustrating because they took out most of my health, and I needed that health for this next section. So we get a nice little view of this area. It's quite open. Ah, those two assholes. So there's a checkpoint right here in this, this fucking warehouse room. Oh, I don't like this place. This probably took up this one area has probably been responsible for more deaths than any other area in my playthrough so far. Once I got the hang of what I needed to do to get through it quickly, I can do it without too much trouble, but... Oh, there's just so many enemies in here. There's a couple fat boys, but they're fat boys without rocket launchers, which are almost harmless. I mean, they can kill the mercenaries very quickly by melee, but they're not much of a threat to you. That's what I meant in a previous episode when I said there was two distinct flavors of fat boys, ones with rocket launchers and then the ones that just stumble about trying to claw stuff with their stupid big bulky claws. <laughs> Some good music on four times speed. There's just so many guys in here. 
And they're all the new tough type. Very resilient, very accurate. And this fucker, he almost surprised me. This is where we were heading all along through this this little uh, warehouse room. It's not actually that far from the entrance, but there's just so many guys in here that if you try and make a beeline for it, you will get killed. And there's a big group of guys hanging out over here, as you see in this this pile of men. So all we needed to do was to shoot that chain and drop that crate. Get down to some stupid vent crawling, which I take the wrong way, and leads to nowhere. So I haven't hit a checkpoint yet. Uh, there isn't really anything else dangerous here. Just this nice little corpse. Some bones. But there is a uh, level change, I guess. This level ends, and a new level begins, and something I forgot about is that Fraps decides to shit all over this game whenever I end a level, if I'm still recording during the loading screens. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I unfortunately got unlucky, and it decided to crash my game. I hadn't hit a loading point here, or a, a checkpoint here, so I had to do that stupid warehouse again a few few more tries to get it perfect. Great, that was fun. Very frustrating, but say la vie. I love the next level where it starts you out. Listen up, Jack. You've made it through the dockyard area, so you should be much closer to Val now. Hmm, I hear lumbering. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, that door is locked. What's going on? Get Dr. Dreist. Go, go, go. They're coming. We'll hold here and try to stop them. You, gen you generally don't want to run in just in here. There's uh, two of these Trigen soldier guys. They're not too big of a threat, honestly, because there's oh, there's only two of them in here. But I don't think this is the way you're supposed to go. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I just get impatient here and stand up, which gets me killed. But... <laughs> wow, that sounded weird. Try and make a run for it, and no. Nope. More love for flashbangs. This is the more... I guess the easier route. It makes a lot more sense than just barging in. This is where they stored a lot of the experiments. For your sake, I hope nothing got loose in there. Not everything they were storing was, shall we say, safe. Over there! Get Dr. Dreist! Go! 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 They're coming! We'll hold here and try to stop them! So yeah, you can see there a little bit, a, a brief little glimpse of the invisible guys when they're invisible. Very, very hard to see them. These guys sound like gremlins or something. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And there's still those fat boys over in the doorway. They actually can't. They can't fit through the doorway, which is pretty silly. And I, I love this little hallway. Amazing. It also kind of showcases just how ineffective the AI is against fighting each other, unless it's a scripted event. The AI has a really hard time of killing each other with guns and rockets, apparently. Because he's just launching volley after volley of missile down this hallway. And each one is hitting the guys at the end. But it's not really killing them. Give it up, buddy. Oh, hell. Oh. 
so we'll try something different. Some more flashbang love. And some grenades, which suck. So I decided to just fuck that. Use some rockets. Better in every way. Just as Claptrap's weakness is stairs, Fat Boy's weakness is doorways. Must be pretty demoralizing. It's him! Okay. Oh. On the way, get him! Oh. Delta You're dead! Down, oh. Professor Chad! Oh. Oh. Heavy attack in the control room. So I believe these are script these guys are scripted to die from one bullet uh, from the NPCs, because it only takes one to like the gut or something to kill that guy. And they can kill the, mer uh, the mercenaries and the trigen in this area. They can kill each other pretty quickly. So I think they're just scripted events. This little hallway can fuck itself. I freaked out a bit. I was thinking maybe I can just bottleneck them in this, um, this little vent. But the small guys can fit in the vents, so... I mean, my plan kind of works. <laughs> I got pretty lucky in that they didn't just kill me outright. Creaker's elite troopers have sealed the way to the elevator to prevent the Trigens from leaving. Find a way to the security room to unlock the door. Get I hate this room. It's kind of cool, but the uh, the big hologram in the middle of it is very very annoying. I find it gets in the way. There's not too many enemies in here. I think there's two or three, but they can easily see you, and it's really hard to see around that stupid hologram. I mean, it's a cool texture. It's a, it's a really neat graphic visual, whatever you call it, but it's just so bright and colorful and in the way. Just throwing rocks to see if there's anything else in here, but nope, I have cleared it out. A neat little detail is there is actually text on that, you can't actually read it. Uh, it's be hard to read because it keeps rotating and revolving and switching around, but there is substantial evidence to blah 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 blah. I have no idea what it says. I think I saw something. I really like these rooms. They're quite nice, nice little set pieces. Very cool little tanks with fat boys in them. Too much green ambient lighting though. Way too much green here. I do apologize for the constant cryvision swapping, but it's kind of a necessity because you're never sure which enemies are going to be invisible. So every time you enter a new room, you pretty much got to turn it on from now on. It's one of the reasons I don't really like it. It's kind of jarring. I mean, it's handy. It helps you see guys from far away and hiding and all that kind of crap, but it is kind of jarring. No cover. Better make my own. Yeah, laundry basket. Now I get your <laughs> Love it. Die! 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 I don't love it. 
Now my basket got stuck, and I'm sad. But grenades can make quick work of everything. And this guy, or gal, I don't know what this is. Looks comfy though. This is Deadfire? I hope that was the last security switch. above you on catwalks, and they're just, it's just a big clusterfuck of a room. So I hide in this little garage area. The fat boys, again, can't reach me. They should be able to shoot me, but I'm not sure why they're, they're not. I guess because their head can't see me, so they can't see me? I'm not sure. But I got pretty lucky in that they didn't just shoot me. And in here are a couple of my favorite textures in the game. The Evil Science Magazine. Krieger Corporation successful in cloning wild pigs. He looks very thoughtful looking on that boar. <sighs> so that elevator we took down is kind of annoying because it's not a loading screen. And I don't know why they just make them go so slow. But the Evil Science Magazine, issue 2. Interview with Evil Mastermind, Dr. Krieger. Did you see something? This game's very subtle. Someone over there? I couldn't already tell. bit of progress in this episode. It's not over yet. There's still a bit more. But we have made a lot of progress. And I'm quite pleased with that. Man, this room. This is like whack-a-mole. Fucking guys and they're bunny hopping. I think it took me over a minute to kill this this one guy. Cause he just would not stop jumping around. Stay still, you asshole. Finally. I don't notice my stamina, so I'm kind of dumb. I always forget about it. I think I can jump here, but nope. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't kill me, but it's another thing I don't pay attention to very, very much. I'm stuck here, Doyle. Any ideas? The path to Val appears to be sealed. I suggest you find a way to flood the mutagen tank chamber, then try and swim up to the next section. I don't see how this would be a good idea at all. Presumably... That's got it. Good call, Doyle. A mutagen tank chamber? I mean, this isn't water, I don't think. Something kind of, kind of funny I noticed. Uh, when recording this game, it plays in 30 frames per second. But if I'm playing without using craps to record, uh, the game runs at 60 FPS. And doing that section at 60 FPS, the water raises, well, twice as fast. So it's actually kind of a hazard. And 
fighting this guy. This sucks. They put, they have really bad checkpoint placements in this game when they were developing it. So I haven't hit one since I raised the water, so if I die up here, I have to raise the water again. And it's, ugh, it just takes too long. It's not so much the water raising as crawling through the vent at the top of the water. It takes forever. It makes you, it forces you to go prone, so it's really slow. But that's just a minor gripe. We're nearing the end of the video. There's just a cutscene left, so I will see you next time. Classy. Come on, you bastards! You want some of this? Bow! There's some bad news. I've been trying to call in help from outside to get us out of here, but there's a problem. What's up, Harland? Krieger has set up an electromagnetic field which is blocking any external transmissions. We're being jammed. We're gonna have to take that out. I'll pick you up real soon. I should be able to get you to the source of the field. There's a secondary exit in that room, and I'm in a cruiser right outside. That'll also put us near Krieger's main compound. Maybe I can take a look around and see what we can do to shut it down. Do whatever you want, but as soon as we get a signal out, I'm done. I'm not even getting paid for this crap.